Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to continue working on our FTP downloader. Now as you saw right there I am actually installing the UDK right now uh, because I've been watching uh, Bucky's videos and I decided I wanted to learn how to do that. Um, so if you guys haven't seen those videos yet and you're interested in developing games then you may want to go check out his tutorials on the UDK. So let's go ahead and we'll come back in here and let's see what's next on our list of things to do so we've got update server we'll get to that later um, we've done home directory and we've done download so now let's do open folder so in order for us to open a folder we're gonna go ahead we're gonna go ahead and open up the selected index change for the list FTP files so let's use a simple if statement so if list FTP files dot selected item dot contains or we cannot use contains here so what we're going to need to do is create a variable to store that item in so we'll just come right above it and we will declare a variable so dim folder name as string and we'll set it equal to list FTP files dot selected item okay so let's go ahead and get rid of this right here so if folder name dot contains so if it contains a value so if it contains a period in it then what do we want to do well we don't want it to do anything if there's a period and let me just go ahead and get this out of the way So what we can do is we can do if this right here and then just add an else right after that. That's not very efficient. So we'll do if not. And then we click allow access again. So if folder name does not contain a period, then we'll go ahead and change the directory. So in order for us to do this, we're going to have to create a boolean. So we'll come up here and we'll do private um, is folder as boolean and we'll set it equal to false. So if it doesn't contain a period, um, which pretty much means it's a folder, because all file all file types have a period in it. So dot text, dot bat, dot exe, whatever you want, those are all going to have a period in it, and folders will not. So if it doesn't contain a period, then is folder is going to be equal to true and now let's do else so if it does have a period then is folder is going to be equal to false so if is folder is equal to true then we want to go ahead and enable that button so button open folder or let's see what it is button change directory which I don't know why I named it that but button change directory dot enabled equals true and then we'll do button change directory dot enabled equals false so if it's a folder then they can change the directory but if it's not then they cannot change the directory so now what we need to do is access the click event for open folder so we don't have to put any if statements in here because um, we've already enabled it and disabled it based on if the file if it's a file or a folder so if it's a folder then it'll allow us it will allow us to click it so what we'll go ahead and do is we will set um, FTP downloader dot current directory and we'll just go ahead and plus equals and we'll add list FTP files dot selected item and then we'll just add a forward slash. So what this is going to do is it's going to have the forward slash that is already there, which is right here. Then it's going to be in the folder of the selected item. Then it's going to add a, another slash right there. So by adding this forward slash right here, um, we only had to do this once. So it adds that and then adds another forward slash so that we can keep going into more and more folders. So it's going to add this string to the directory. So now what we need to do is we need to refresh the list so refresh list 
Now let's go ahead and run this. And I believe I have a folder in here. So you can see we've got application files, which is a folder, hi, which is a folder, and then all these that have periods in them are files. So you can see when I click on these, we can't do anything with them, but when I click on hi, we can open that folder. So for the current directory, um, we haven't updated that yet. So we've got hi there dot text. So we can go back to the home directory and we can open application files, open that folder, and then we can view files that are in there. So let's go ahead and we can open this folder again too. So we've got hello world application exe.deploy and manifest. So you can see we can go into as many folders as we want. So now what we want to do is we want to change this based on the directory. So let's go ahead and create a sub and we'll do private sub update directory and we'll just do update directory label. So now what we need to do is label directory dot text. And let's go ahead and add plus equals. I believe we'll need a space. And then we will do FTP downloader dot current directory. So it's going to get the current directory that's in there. So whenever the form loads, what we want to do is we'll just um, actually we haven't opened any directories yet so when they go to home directory we will do update uh, let's see what did I call that directory label so update directory label and whenever they change a the directory we want to call that again so update directory label so we'll go ahead and run this you can see when we click home directory, we get current directory and a forward slash. Now let's go ahead and we can open application files and we get application files here. Now you can see that we have a little problem here. It has application files and then it adds it there. So let's go ahead and fix that. So we don't want we don't want it to be plus equals. We want to set it equal to and then we'll just say current directory okay so now if we run this we go to our home directory and we get current directory and the forward slash we can open this folder and you see it gives us our directory we can go back to the home directory and keep opening folders and you can see that it'll add it right here now let's go ahead and close out of this so go ahead put in this code to change the directory and update the uh, directory label and then once you've done that and you uh, understand what's going on move on to the next tutorial